Hey guys, today we're talking about Seller Sprite, one of the most powerful Amazon market research tools out there. In previous videos, I walked you through how to use their market research functionality. And today I actually want to focus specifically on their ads insight tools. It is extremely valuable to be able to spy on your competitors, see what keywords they are effectively using in their ad campaigns on Amazon and get an idea of how much it's costing them to generate clicks without seller Sprite. I don't know how else you'd actually get this data other than paying for it yourself, which is both time and money intensive. So what I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. Let's get to it. First, I wanted to mention, I'll put a link to seller Sprite at the top of the description so that you can get a free trial. Now I am logged in to my demo account. I'm going to go up to tools and then I'm going to click under listing optimization. I'm going to click ads insights. This tool is extremely powerful, but I don't want you to take me at my word. Let me show you why. So whether you have, I mean, I'm assuming you have a product you actually want to research, whether it's print on demand, whether it's FBA, KDP, et cetera, you just need the ASIN. If you don't know how to get the ASIN of your product, go into the URL, right? The, the URL of your web browser when you're looking at your product page and it should look like B zero and then a string of letters and numbers. I'll go ahead and use the, um, actually I was looking at this anchor power bank that I actually purchased for myself. So I have the ASIN on hand. I'm going to type it in and I'm going to click search. Now, what you see here, and I can actually zoom in a little bit, maybe make this a little bit easier. What you see here is the historical view of different ad groups associated with this ASIN. So the default view is a weekly basis. You can actually switch it to a monthly basis, which I like to zoom out more. So I'm going to switch it to monthly. And each of these rows represents a different ad group associated with this product how they figured that out. Your guess is as good as mine. That's why seller Sprite is amazing. Now these bubbles represent how many keywords were in that ad group at a moment in time. You know what I mean? So each one of these bubbles represents a different day and you can actually just look down and see the actual date or actually no, it's a different month. I should say month because we switched it to the monthly view. So you can just look down and see uh, what month that was. So if we want to look at, you know, 2023 uh, May, we can hover over this bubble and you can see search terms 114. So that actually means that seller Sprite saw 114 different search terms being advertised in this single ad campaign on this product that we are researching. We can actually click the bubble and this is where the most value in my mind is, is going to be had. So now we can actually see the search terms that were being advertised in this campaign. By the way, also, I should mention, if we just jump back here for a second, this very top row, you see how they have the biggest bubbles representing the most search terms. Well, that implies this is most likely their auto campaign, just because the auto campaign, if you guys are familiar with how Amazon ads works, casts a very wide net of potential keywords, you know, it could be single keywords with broad match, phrase match, exact match, or phrases based on what is in your product listing, your product detail page, the title, the brand, the bullets, the description, etc. It casts a wide net and it tries to figure out what your listing is going to perform best with. So I do recommend running auto campaigns. And actually, now that I say that, do we really want to spy on their auto campaign? Probably not. So why don't we actually go to any other campaign? Let's just scroll down here and let's and through looking at the actual search terms, which is what we're about to do, you can usually kind of figure out if it's their broad campaign, their phrase, their exact, etc. The most data, the most valuable data is probably going to be in their exact campaign. So it looks like this teal colored campaign didn't exist prior to March 2023. So this could actually be pretty useful. Oh, no, the search terms are very limited, though. Let's find one with more search terms. How about this lime yellow one It has 124 search terms. Let's go ahead and click that. And now let's actually scroll down and check out what phrases they are paying. And this is Anchor, by the way. I, I didn't mention what product this is, guys. This is the uh, Anchor Power Bank. All right. I, I can't remember if we looked at this in a previous video. You can actually see that I purchased it not for myself. I purchased it for a uh, family member as a gift. But um, Anchor is like one of the biggest, most successful electronics brands on Amazon. I love their products. Everybody does. <laughs> 
everybody a lot of people do uh so if they are spending their money advertising on a search term you can bet it's good data so when i'm using them as an example in this case that is implying that i want to compete with them or at least do some market research which in this case extends beyond market research because i already did a video on the seller sprite market research tools i will link to that in the description as well so you can go catch it uh but we can also look at what they're spending their money to advertise on we know that's a big part of success on amazon so the keyword phrases column here this is where we will see what search terms they are spending their money on and this could actually be an auto campaign because there are some random ones disneyland accessories for trip actually it may sound random but who knows, maybe Disneyland accessories for trip and bringing a power bank that can charge your phone if you're gonna be on it all day, taking pictures and whatnot, this could actually be pretty useful. So I should, maybe I spoke too soon there. Um, but you can see like portable cordless charger uh, ranked at the top there. Um, you can see where the data is available and I'll hide myself for a second here. On the right-hand side, the uh, click concentration the PPC bid, which is extremely valuable. And you can see Vegas must haves somehow Vegas must haves is a very generic phrase here, but it looks like people are searching that on Amazon and it's actually costing over $2 per click up to $3.38 uh, storefronts on Amazon. That's kind of random phrase. Disney essentials for park 51 cents per click, uh, scrolling down small business essentials, phone charger. It looks like they're paying about $2.38 per click, portable wireless charger, $1.60 per click portable phone charger, $2.29 per click. You guys get the, uh, the point here, right? Of what we're, what we're looking at. So let's say we want to just go back up here to portable cordless charger. Uh, I will move my head. You can actually click these icons over here. Um, for one, the middle icon lets you download the historical searches. The G launches Google trends, but if you click the top, you actually get, um, even more insights, right? And sometimes the, the data is available. Sometimes it's not. Uh, they're doing their best to scrape this data from Amazon and package it together in a useful way. Um, but you have the keyword search volume trend. So over time, the trend over time, you have the rank trend, you have Google trends, you have the click concentration. Okay. And I'm actually kind of blocking um, what you need to see here, but you can essentially see the click concentration associated with this ASIN divided by the conversion share. So are they actually converting those clicks into sales? And probably the most valuable one would be the PPC bid. Okay, and you can actually see the average bid over time. Now, because this campaign was launched a little bit late in the year, um, it looks like the data really started to come into view, into effect in July of 2023. But I just, I guess, didn't select a, uh, a good campaign. Uh, but we can always go back to the beginning here and click a different campaign and view the historical data associated with each of these individual search terms here that Anchor is advertising on in this campaign. So beyond this guys, and that was the ads insights tab. They also have the keyword distribution tab, which you can see here. We are now looking at a very popular brand of no show socks on Amazon. That is the ASIN that we searched for, for what it's worth. I wanted to mention, you can search up to 20 ASINs at a time. So if you don't want to just look at one competitor, you want to lump together up to 20 at a time. You can do that. All right. You can't go to 21, but you can go to 20 at a time and view all of the data here. So typically what I like to do, and you can see how many keywords are driving traffic to these product listings. Absolutely incredible. And of course, the longer you've been live on Amazon, the more you've been advertising, you know, generally speaking, you're most likely going to be successful via putting money in the machine, you know, pay to play, running ads and helping train the Amazon algorithm of what to associate with your product listing. Obviously it speeds it up with ads, but I like to go ahead and click reverse ASIN. Okay. Which is essentially the same as clicking keywords. When you do this, it will do a reverse ASIN lookup to find what keywords are associated with this product. So we scroll down and what do we see here? We see the keyword, uh, and it's also phrases as well. Socks number one, that's the most valuable keyword associated with that product listing. You can even see, by the way, they include additional columns, like how many searches per month is this generating? Uh, what is the title density? You know, how frequently is that word being used or that phrase, how many products are indexed on this search term? What is the average PPC bid, etc. So socks, socks for women, no show socks, women, women, socks, no show socks, men, ankle socks, no show socks, ankle socks for women, crew socks for women, women's socks, etc. You guys get the point when you launch a new product on Amazon, guys, like <laughs> even if it seems really obvious, like what this product is, it doesn't mean that there aren't like, like Amazon gets billions of 
visitors per month, okay? I can't say for of visitors because it might just be sessions, but let's just say it could be, you know, the same people going multiple times, but billions of sessions, billions of visits, and that's from similar web, pretty reliable website when it comes to tracking website traffic. Even if you know the best search terms associated with whatever you're selling, it's nice to be able to data mine Amazon for what your customers may be typing in. Perhaps it's not the optimal keywords or the optimal phrase, but to them, that's what came into their mind that they searched for. So you still want to rank on those phrases. It's impossible to put yourself in the head, in the shoes of all of your potential customers. That's where tools like Seller Sprite come in to help you see what people are actually searching for. And in this case, it's not just searches, right? Searches is more what we talked about in the last video. These are actual keywords that either your competitors are advertising on, which we just covered, or that you're actually just ranking on through reverse ASIN lookup. Okay, so this data is so valuable and it is right here at your fingertips when you use Seller Sprite. This is in the Ads Insights module. So please make sure to check out Seller Sprite. You can try it for free using the link at the top of the description. The Ads Insight module there is unparalleled, honestly. The fact that they have this much data on what our competitors are spending their money to rank on, right? So it's not just what they already rank on, right? It's what they intend to rank on in the future. These are some really valuable insights and they're gonna save us a ton of money by giving us an estimate using real data of how much we should be spending when we create our own ad campaigns on those extremely valuable search terms because we see, again, what is actually driving traffic that is converting for our competitors and we can see what they wanna rank on in the future that they are actually spending their money on in their existing ad campaigns as we demonstrated with the Anchor Power Bank. So I'm blown away by this tool, I'm loving it and I want you to try it. It is linked at the top of the description. Check out the free trial, guys. Check out Seller Sprite, and I'll drop a link to my previous video with Seller Sprite where I showed the market research tools. Guys, thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.